Okay, we're looking at our Year 13 Pure Work, uh, a new chapter on uh, series. Now we're going to look at the, it's mainly going to be arithmetic and in particular geometric, but at the start of the chapter there's what are called inductive series. Now you've seen a little bit of this before, hopefully. It's where we are given uh, a term or terms at the start and then given a link between the next term and the one or two that's gone before. Um, so we're also going to have particular types of series we're interested in. Ones that are convergent, which where it goes to a limit. And uh, so, for example, if I've got an uh, inductive series where u of n plus 1 is a function of u of n, to get our limiting value l, I put l equals f of l and solve it. And whatever uh, answer that is, that's my limit. Uh, we've then got divergent series where there's no limit at all, uh, and periodic, which are ones that repeat in a particular cycle. Let's have a look at a few examples then. We've got um, uh, a basic one here, u of n plus 1 equals u of n, and then add 4. So it's going up in 4s. It's how we used to write a GCSE, um, like 4n minus 3, 4n plus 5, that sort of series there. And we're given the first value is 7. It asks for the first 6, so obviously the first one is 7. And then add 4, 11, 15, 19, 23. And 27, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah. Uh, and, this, and then it's asking whether it's convergent, divergent, or periodic. Well, it's not convergent at all. It's keep on going up and up and up. It's not periodic, so it's divergent. Okay. Uh, second one. Uh, U of n plus 1 is 2 thirds of U of n. So we're just finding 2 thirds of each time. So first 6 again. Start with 2, 4, 3 is the first one. Um, what you can do, because I'm giving these today, we can do iterative ones, inductive ones, by putting in our value there and then say what we're doing. We're going to get my answer and times by 2 divided by 3 equals 162. Press equals again, 108, third one, equals again, 72, fourth one, equals again, 48, which shows a nice one here, and then equals again, 32. Um, and then it's asking whether it's convergent, divergent, or periodic. Well, this one. You can see it getting the gas getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It's convergent. And if we solve L equals two thirds of L, the only way that works is if L is zero. So it tends towards zero. It will get smaller and smaller and smaller, but always positive, tend towards zero. Um, third example then, 1C. U of n plus 1 equals 10 minus a half of un. Um, in this case here, I can do the same thing if I wanted to. I could type in my initial value, the first 6. So 8 is the first one. And then 10 minus answer divided by 2 equals 6. And then stick 6 in equals 7. Stick 7 in decimal, 13 over 2, 6.5. Let's equals again, 6.75, 1, 2, 3, 4... We're nearly there. And then equals again 53 over 8, 6.625. Uh, and what's happening is in this case the values oscillate. It goes from, from 8 down to 6 and up to 7, down to 6.5 and, and so on. And it's going to tend towards something halfway in between, partway in between these two numbers here. Um, so this is convergent. If I want to find what it converges to, I would solve L equals 10. Minus a half L, 3L over 2 is 10, L is 20 over 3, 6 and 2 thirds. So we go. Okay, so that's my limiting value there. Uh, D, U of N plus 1 equals 60 over U N, U1 is 20. So 20 in, 60 over 20, 3. 3 in, 60 over 3, 20, and so on. What's going to happen in this case? You can see, can't you? Periodic, uh, and the period is, is, is 2 because it repeats every two numbers. Uh, and last of these ones uh, involves the two previous terms. So it says u of n plus 2 equals u n plus u n plus 1. Uh, u1 equals 1, u2 equals 1. But what this is, it's a Fibonacci series. It's the classic Fibonacci. So the third term is the first plus the second, 2. The fourth term is the second plus the third, one add two is three. The fifth term is the third plus the fourth, two add three is five. 
and the next term, the sixth term, is 305, which is 8, and so on. So this is definitely divergent. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as we go along. Let's have a look at a couple more then. So we're given uh, a sequence here, 1040, 100, 224, 60, and we're asked to find the link between them. They've given us quite a few to help us out. There's loads of ways of going from 10 to 40, but I need the same way that goes from 40 to 100, and from 100 to 220, and so on. So it could be times by 4, but it's not. So it might be tied by something and add something. So tied by 3 and add 10 doesn't work for that one. Uh, tied by 2, 20 and add 20. You know what? That's looking good because 80 plus 20 is 100. Tied by 2, 200 and add 20 is that. And tied by 2, 440 and add 20 is 460. So it looks like it is u of n plus 1 is 2 lots of un and then add 20. And we need to specify that the first term is equal to 10. And that's it. Uh, example 3 gives us the um, inductive formula, gives us the first term, and asks us to find out. In this case, giving us the first term is a bit irrelevant, because if they only want the limiting value, it doesn't matter where we start, it will always end up at the same limiting value. So in this case here, we're going to stick L equals 28 minus 3 quarters of L, move it across, 7 quarters of L equals 28, L equals 28 times 4 over 7, which is 16. So in that case there, no matter where it starts, it will always end up going to 16. If you have time left at the end, you can check it by pressing your first value and then getting 28 minus 0 0.75 times my answer equals 13 and so on. And eventually, press it loads of times. And I've got 15.99, 16. Naught, naught, and it was tending towards 16. It takes a minute or so to check. Last couple of examples. Um, we're given our inductive series u of n plus 1 equals 2 plus 15 over un. Uh, u1 is 6, and it wants the first 6 and our limiting value. So it's telling us that it's, a, um, it's going to converge. So I know the first one is 6, and as I say, because he wants the first ones, why not press 6, press equals, and then do 2 plus 15 divided by amps equals, so 4.5 equals again, 5.3 recurring equals again, 4.8125, is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 more. 5.116, so on, and last one, 4.93, like that. Our limiting value, solve L equals 2 plus 15 over L, oops, not over 4, over L, and in this case, it's going to give us a quadratic, so times by L to get L squared equals 2L plus 15, Three, L and five, so minus and plus L equals five. Because L can't be minus three, it's not going to turn towards a negative value because it's oscillating between somewhere between six and four point five. It has to be a positive value, so L is five. Uh, and last example um, is contextualized one to do with population over time. It's given us um, P naught in this case. It only matters P1 and P2, but it's missing the constants there. So it's simultaneous equations in this case, I think. Let's have a look then. Um, I know that the first term then, 15, equals A plus 20B. And the next one, 13, equals A plus 15B. And I can minus them to get 2. Cancels out, equals 5B equals 2 over 5. Okay, stick that in there. 2 fifths of 20, well 1 fifth of 20 is 4, 2 fifths is 8, a equals 15 minus 8 equals 7. So I've got, and then we've got 7 plus 2 fifths of pt equals pt plus 1. And I can use those to find the next ones. So it wants 
T is 3, so he wants P3 basically. So P3 uh, will equal 7 plus 2 fifths times the 1 before 13, 26 over 5, 5.2, 12.2. And it wants the limiting value, so it's similar to the one before. Um, so I'm going to solve L equals 7 plus 2 fifths of L, move it across. 3 fifths of L equals 7, L equals 7 times 5 over 3, 35 over 3, which is 11.6 recurring. That looks about right, 20, 15, 13, 12 and a bit, and tending towards 11.6. Okay, so we've gone through uh, our inductive series, how to find limiting values, whether it's uh, convergent, divergent, or periodic. Um, and so be aware it's a tiny, tiny bit of the chapter, but they do slip in these questions about it on a regular basis.